Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can hear me. I haven't actually checked the microphone recently. Um, it's two degrees today and I must admit it's bloody cold. My god it's cold. Anyway this is a test ride of the new new build which is now finished. Finally finished. Um, I'm going to have to stop. I am going to have to stop. My god, it's cold. Well, it's bloody two degrees. Anyway, I've put this back brake on and it's bloody useless. Um, I've got some... I've got some um, 203 mil brakes coming. Some new rotors. Um, so I'm going to be putting them on and uh, I've got my mirror which is there which don't really do a lot I suppose it'd be alright in the dark I mean you can see <laughs> not a lot <laughs> anyway um, yeah it's running and it seems I've only done 1.6 miles um, but it seems to be all right uh, I don't know if the BMS is working fully yet I don't know I don't trust it yet excuse me I can't stop bloody sniffing um, I've got these uh, is it Schwalbe or Schwalbe or whatever you call it um, big apple tires because I noticed when I did a run on it before with the DMR Moto tyres um, they squealed they really squealed, I think it was just in torture saying for fuck's sake stop! so I got these uh, Schwalbe uh, Big Apple and they are 2.4, I think they're 2.4 or something like that and they do seem a lot better, they're a lot smoother it seems a lot more um, locked in I suppose anyway the power of this thing is the same as it was before because that's all I'm going to have, I'm not going to have any more 125 amps is plenty plenty that will give me around about, is it 9 kilowatts? which is the same as the old bike um, but obviously it's a lot more stable so my god it is cold today <laughs> I am stupid I haven't got my biking gloves on because I don't want to look a dickhead although I don't know doesn't really matter does it um, so it does feel a hell of a lot better I don't know why it just feels a lot more maneuverable for some reason oh and also this um, this back brake that I've put on here waste of time total waste of time Honestly, it doesn't do a damn thing. Really doesn't do anything. So, I'm only going slow. Uh, ish. I'm only going slow because it's a test run. I just want to get the battery down to around about 69 volts. So as I can, uh, so it's in storage. I've got a few more things I've got to do. But they're only minor things like the brakes. Um, yeah, the brakes are a minor thing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So I've got to get that done. Oh shit, that was glass. That was glass. That was a pint glass. Luckily, luckily these Schwalbe tyres have got puncture resistant resistance. 
of punctures which is really good God it does feel a lot more a lot more locked in the steering's a lot lighter everything seems a lot more positive I'm getting really really cold now my god I'm freezing it's two degrees and I am freezing my bollocks off ah! oh this traffic is Sunday morning Oh yes, it's much, much, much smoother. Slow down, Tony. Oh, my fingers are getting frozen now. Everything's freezing now. My chin's frozen, my neck's frozen, my hands are frozen, my bollocks are frozen, my knob is like an icicle. Very, very happy with it. Oh, big bump. I'm only doing sixteen miles an hour. Yes, that's much, 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 much better. Maybe I can improve or change the torque curve on the Sabaton because the acceleration could be a bit, a uh, bit better. But apart from that, no, I think I'm done. There's some very nice cars around here. Anyway, if anyone wanted to know why I've done this like this. So we've got obviously the battery compartment and then we've got the BMS and everything else in here. Now if anybody wanted to know why I've done this, it's because my knees go exactly there. So it's just, I don't know if I can show you actually. Can you see that? Yeah, if I'd have put it out here, my knees would have touched, but that is a brilliant knee rest for when I'm going along. Isn't that mean? Anyway, I have decided that, um, I don't know if it's unfortunate or fortunate or whatever, but I'm not going to go with any more power. Um, it's drawing now, it goes 220... 128 amps I think it maxes out at now I don't I daren't go anymore um, 
I mean, it's fast enough as it is. You know, it does it. It does off road. It does 67 miles an hour. So I think that's fast enough for a push bike. And if anyone says otherwise, then me you and know, I, there's something wrong with you, actually. <laughs> I love the power, and now it really does bloody go some. Now you open the throttle, it, it doesn't matter what speed you're doing, you open that throttle and it's gone. So if, yeah I could put, up, could put the full 150 amps through it, you know, it's not a problem, but I really don't, I don't need it, you know, it's for the first time in my life I've actually got something where I can say that's enough, because any more, I mean it's bloody scary as it is, when you open the throttle you don't know what's going to happen, you really don't know what's coming. And every single time I open the throttle, it puts a big bloody smile on my face, and that's enough for me. It makes me happy. It really does make me smile. Anyway, the sun's out. The sky is not quite blue. And it really is bloody cold today. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going home because I really can't feel my extremities. I can't actually feel any part of my body at the minute. So I really do need to go home. If you've got a Muxus 3K and you want the back brake, and you want it to work and you want hydraulics this is how to do it